You'd have a more magic than you. It concerns our postal system. I'll send it all of you for sale that through the years, through driving rain, sleet or snow. But now they've got a problem. And I beg to you. The answer, my friend, is very simple. It's up to you to see them through. Do, 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 do. I was freedom and how to defend it. May 4th. It's stopped in the There's been a mail explosion. They've got a terrible load. You've got to help them right away before the U.S. Post Office It wasn't so long ago that communication was a simple act. But the range of the human voice is limited. So, man's ingenuity found ways to bridge distance. He invented writing. And typographical errors. To carry messages across vast distances, man developed roads, highways, Turnpikes, bunions, calluses, and a rare assortment of aching limbs. Yes, up until recently, communication remained a simple act. What matter if it took two weeks to go from New York to Atlanta, over a month to St. Louis? If the letter from Uncle Ben arrived a day or so later, nobody fussed. The times were tuned to... Distance was measured by weeks and months. Everything was a far time off. Then, slowly, the country got up steam. Commerce shook off its sea anchor and headed westward all the width of the continent. There was a new idea, speed. Everything was coming up to date in the Kansas cities and the Portlands. Communications became the most vital aspect of our economy. The post office became the prime artery of commerce. For a time, the department was perfectly able to keep up. If the mail piled high, put on another piece of equipment. And if that didn't do it here, doubled again. Nearly 80 billion pieces of mail. Literally, the post office stands to be swamped, overwhelmed, drowned in a sea of mail. Where do we go from here? Patchwork. Piecemeal solutions based upon obsolete transportation routes will not work. The answer has to be as new as the challenge is new. And the post office has the only logical answer. Zip code. Mail distribution via the straight line. Always the shortest distance between two distant points. Zip code. Five trailblazing numbers like this one. Launch every piece of mail with space age. <laughs> Now that's easy to say, and it sounds just fine, but let's put this question right on the line. What is the zip code? A postal quirk? What does it do? How does it work? If you'll lend an ear, we'll be glad to explain how the zip code eases your postal pain. The first digit tells me which part of the nation your letter will find its destination. Since the country's divided into ten big sections, each with a number to establish direction, before your letter has even departed, we've already got it started. The next two digits go hand in hand to a major post office over land. Since each big section has town after town. We need these numbers to really narrow things down. We've got the section, we've got the city. Just two, two more, more numbers, numbers and we're sitting pretty. pretty. These last two digits are really specific. They're your local post office number. Terrific. 
what a system. As you can plainly see, just five little numbers. Quick as can be. But if you have a question or you have a doubt, if you're still not sure what the whole thing's about, just always remember, zip code defined means city to city in one straight line. But don't take it from us. Don't take it from me. Try it yourself. You'll see. It's a better deal than you get from any other post office department. Yes, zip code is a better deal. Moving the mail in one straight line. Straight as an arrow. The time before zip code. A boy, a girl, a valentine. There was a boy. Another valentine, carefully zip-coded, here and here. A different girl, still far away by Frisco Bay, but the same boy, a little older and a little wiser. Is that a Those zip code numbers will help clear up two of the major problems that give the post office department fits. Seen? The dead letter office. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do postal clerks get indigestion? There are many reasons. I won't bother to list them. It's all the stamp glue we take into our systems. I guess that's as logical as a man could get. But that's not the reason for their stomach upset. It's from trying to read the American hand illegibly written throughout the land. This letter will prove exactly what we've said. The name of the city simply can't be read. Oakdale. Oakfield. Oakhurst. Oak Park. Oakwood. Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa? Tuscaloosa? Now you've seen if the writing's no good, this letter might as well be carved out of wood. And if you think that handwriting is only hard on your eyes, just try this problem on for size. I got a letter here for somebody from Springfield. Springfield? I'm from Springfield, Massachusetts, and the bell in your bell. There's no place I'd rather be. I'm from Springfield, Pennsylvania, and there's been a mistake. This letter is apparently for me. I'm from Springfield, Arizona, and I want you to know I've been waiting for this letter since a weekend ago. Oh, what good does it do to send a letter my way when I'm from Springfield, you will say. I have looked into this problem, and I'm telling you, boy, you're angry and you have a right to be. There are very many cities with identical names, and Springfield is not the least of these. There are 24 Springfields causing postal delays, and they're all abbreviated with a two-letter phrase. Oh, what good does it do to send a letter my way when I'm from Springfield, USA? There's a Springfield R and a Springfield O, a Springfield Flaw and a Springfield Mo. A Springfield 
Springfield Hill and a Springfield Kid. A Springfield Kai and a Springfield Sid. There's a Springfield Nib and a Springfield Dog. There's a Springfield Nid and a Springfield Pa. There's, There's a Springfield Orr and a Leaven Moor. If you really feel like keeping score, oh, oh, what good does it do to send a letter my way when I'm from Springfield? Well, the Viaplex Jews of Pennsylvania, Arizona, Springfield, U.S. zip code is bringing the mail explosion under control. It is as up-to-date as the computer, as timely as the fantastic zip code scanner, electronically reading zip codes and sorting the mail. It is a success. But to make zip code work, you must use it. Remember, only you can put zip in your postal system. Ladies and gentlemen, the Postmaster General of the United States the Honorable Lawrence F. O'Brien. One way we can measure the success of our zip code program is by the number of foreign countries who send us their postal specialists to study our system and to determine how much of it is adaptable for their own purposes. They come because of a simple fact. Zip code works. For the post office, all who use mails, private citizens. To get any zip code numbers you may need, including your own, just call your local post office. Everything will be 